God bless each one of you. In Exodus chapter 20, it's found that God does not like idolatry. God does not want us to put anything higher than him. It's, it clearly states in Exodus chapter 20 how it, it literally says, don't put any other things before God. Now, many times in the Bible, there's been many people who serve their idols. Many, But there's also things today that we put as idolatry. Sometimes, and this is most common, the phones, the computers, we take up even higher than God. We like it so much that we like it more than how we love God. We put human beings over God. We put things over God, and God wants us to be putting Him higher than everything else. That's one way how we could prove that we love God. And brothers and sisters, God hates when we do idolatry. God hates when we disobey. God hates when we do these things. And to God's people, he wants us to be doing his will. It says in the word how Jesus says, not the one who says, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of the Father is the one who's going to enter the kingdom of heaven. The Lord gives his his word, yes, it's full of love, but it's also full of warnings. And us as Christians, this should be this should be a true mission, spreading the gospel that sp spreads awareness to the people. Another thing that falls in idolatry is stubbornness. Look how how God told Moses how the heart of Ramesses was gonna be so dull that it was going to be so um, stubborn. And some, in, in the word of God, it says how God chooses the one he wants to do his mercy and how he wants to, um, he chooses what, who he wants to have mercy with and chooses who he doesn't want to have mercy with. It says in Psalms chapter five, verse five, that he hates those who do sin. Sin is literally disobedience against God and obedience to the enemy. And he hates the enemy and all those who are with the enemy, God is against them says that also in the word the word says how god that he sends only beloved son to the for the chosen for that those who are chosen by god to be doing the will of the father and spreading the gospel to be having a relationship with god to repent of their sins and they be transformed by living by the word of god and slowly by slowly god will work with them if they truly come to god completely with all their heart complete completely humbly and us as Christians, if we humble ourselves to God, if we give him time, if we put him as our number one in our lives, we will see a big effect in our daily lives, in the society, in the countries and the nations. God wants us to be putting his word in our life. And when we say we love God, to actually have a true relationship with him by faith and by putting our trust completely in God, our savior. And God is against all those who do evil. So that's why we should also be praying a lot, brothers and sisters. We need to be praying, have a, um, a relationship with God daily. We need to be spreading the word. And when we say something from the word, that we keep it inside each and one of our hearts. Brothers and sisters, warn all the people about the word of God. And now he is coming soon and judgment is about to set place. Brothers and sisters, right now is the time to spread awareness to the churches. Right now is... This is the warning to all the churches to don't do idolatry, to not put anything higher than God. God is the is the one who made it us. We are serving things that is the the creation more than the, the creator. And God is against that. He is against those who do iniquity. He is against those who do sin. And if we turn from our evil ways and turn to the Lord, we will be saved. And he, chooses, and he chooses who he has mercy with and mercy that he does not want to have with. He did it with Pharaoh. He did it with many people. The time is now to come to Christ. Repent, repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. God bless each one of you. Remember, Jesus loves you.